Bay County Commissioners proposed an amendment to their Multi-Year Restore Act plan this morning. They're requesting $11.3 million, with part of that money going to preserve the bays. As News 13's Jake Holter tells us, experts say it's much less expensive to protect the bay than it is to restore it. The bay is our lifeblood. Bay County Commissioners are after $1.3 million to go towards protecting the bays. It's beneficial for the enjoyment of our citizens and also the economic opportunity that it provides by bringing in visitors as well and letting them enjoy our bay system that's in Bay County. That money would come from an amendment to the county's Restore Act direct component multi-year implementation plan. The federal government introduced the Restore Act in response to the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010. Bay County has been involved since 2017 and has amended the plan three times. This fourth time would add four new projects, one of which is aimed at protecting seagrass from prop scars. A lot of people that come here don't realize how shallow it is and how important that seagrass is. Um, and so this is really going to help educate them while they're at the docks and then while they're on the water of, hey, look, there's shallow water here and there's seagrass here. Graham wants to use this money to create an interactive map boaters can use while on the water to avoid damaging seagrass. She says keeping the base healthy is vital to the local economy. What we saw down in Tampa Bay when water quality was not very good is that their economy sort of crashed. And so we want to make sure that this area does not see those impacts. People don't want to live near the water. They don't want to have businesses here. You can't get people to live here if you have a poor quality habitat. And so making sure that this this area is healthy will just help to bring more people in and stay here and really make it their role of protecting it as well. In Bay County, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Two of the projects involve water quality testing and identifying pollution. The fourth would earmark some more for Project Aqua, the Bay Economic Development Alliance's plan to buy land for a new industrial park. The U.S. Treasury Department will have the final decision on approving or rejecting that request.